the main objective of the project was to automate the process of delineating farmland boundaries. The first task which we did was to understand the difference between optical and SAR data. So the optical data and SAR data, they are both remotely sensed data, but they differ from each other. The optical data is able to capture things such as colors and SAR data is able to capture things such as texture of a given plane. So both of these contain information which can be crucial to us in order to delineate farmlands. We looked at the data set from where we can get our data and we were able to obtain multi-band satellite images from USGS and Sentinel-2 website. The resolution of these images was between 15 meters to 30 meters. The main advantage of Google Earth was that we were able to get historical images. After this, our next task was to review various deep learning based models for satellite, optical and SAR images. The main idea behind this model is to take edges from both Dexinet and HD and generate the third image which inherits the edges from both these models. So we'll go through its description. Here we have initially as an input time series of all the satellite images which we obtained from Google Earth. We feed these images to both HD and Dexinet which in turn generate their own outputs. Then we feed these outputs to a fusion model which performs a pixel wise fusion over these images and generates an output. This is the main script here. Initially we import all the required libraries. We prepare the input which we have to read from the data directory present here. Then we run our HD model. Next we save all these temporary changes in a file present in result called temp. Next we run our Dexnet model. After getting the output from both this model we perform the fusion of this. And finally we generate a vector file from it. So in order to run this code we have taken example of this farmland from Sri Ganga Nagar in Rajasthan. Initially it will read the number of images and then start performing HD. These are the side outputs which are generated by the HD model. The first output is the raw output which we get for our initial farmland. The next output is what we get after applying CV such as thresholding and the final is to detect contours in the image. In general this Dexinet model works by inheriting edges from both Dexinet and HD. We learned about entrepreneurship skills, they taught us how to market things, how to sell things basically. So that was something which I didn't expect it, but then I really enjoyed to learn it. Anu ma'am taught us how to actually see a problem, see its viability and if it's actually feasible. Like if the problem hasn't been solved, there could be two reasons. Either you are brilliant and you have figured it out or that problem cannot be solved and think of the reasons why the people who have already working in such MNCs haven't tried to solve it. So we learned how to actually find a problem and see if it's actually worth solving. This internship is like a butterfly that you might be chasing, uh, like getting that IIT thing in your inter uh, in your entire CV and like making sure that it's easier for you to get jobs. But you shouldn't be chasing the internship just for the internship. I feel like doing that hard work is like working on yourself. It's like building the garden. And when you build that garden, uh, the butterflies will come to you directly, trying to gain knowledge and along with that trying to like make a work ethic out of yourself. Everybody is motivated to do their work specifically, explore their domains and other domains as well. So the peer group here, that inspired us to work harder. So it's not that only you are the person who is giving solution for your project, but somebody else could have given a brilliant idea. And uh, those ideas tell you how differently you can think. There, there, there isn't just one approach that you might be taking and it's not working. There might be a better one that your friend might recommend. During break times or whenever I used to get bored of my project, I used to go in the other room, look at how other people are working. And something which they used to do is tell me about their project. Okay, so we have done this and we have done that. That used to motivate me more that after I complete this, exploring this uh, technology, I have to also look into this. We were stuck in a model and it wasn't giving very good output. So Sir told us that we should use multiple uh, images from different dates of the same area. So we are able to get much better output from that. Our satellite uh, gives, uh, saves uh, information over several decades. We can use the data from a few months back or a year back or two years back. So that improves our quality of our output a lot more. First thing I noticed there when I went was the discipline and the passion they had. This thing, if I could inculcate it in myself, the discipline and the passion for my project, then it could be the best thing which I have ever learned from them. In my college, majority of them, they wanted to do the conventional jobs. So I was not very aware of what this research domain has to offer to me. But then coming here, majority of the people here, they're interested in research. They're reading some papers, finding some solutions, tweaking some things here and there, creating their own paper. So that is really exciting for me to come out of that shell and explore these things that they can happen in real life and they have a lot to offer to you. 
Arjun had a good uh, sense of archery, but he learned a lot uh, under drone. So it was like having that guidance here, getting that environment, that entire place just for innovation and learning.